breaking down the riff. Today, this is going to be alto only. Me and Dan have decided that it would probably be better if we actually split the alto and the tenor clips completely. So this is the alto version. If you want to check out the tenor version, go for it, okay? Uh, it will be the same riff, just uh, in the different keys. Um, so yeah, we just think that moving forward that might be better for you all. So today's riff. Uh, still kind of building on from the previous um, video, which was number four, introducing a bit of a, a blues mix from the pentatonic. This is a little bit more bluesy, so more to kind of think about in terms of uh, semitones and direction. I'm going to play it again for you. to at this point pause it, try and sing it and break it down, please do that if you feel that that's going to be more helpful for you. If not and you want to work it out step by step with me then continue watching through and I'll help you out. Step one really is, is re revisiting our scale. So for this particular one this is a C blues scale. Okay. So the notes that you'll need are C, E flat, little finger, F, F sharp, Okay, so C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, C and it's that little F F sharp G which gives it that more distinctive blue sound as opposed to pentatonic. Start note has got a little grace note which I tried to pull back from video four. If you haven't caught that already, go for it. Uh, obviously, like and subscribe as always, and the comments down below are so helpful to us to improve the content for you. So go for that. So we're going to do, um, see if I can figure it out with you. I don't want to give you the, the note to start with. So here's the blues. Sort of in the middle of our uh, blues scale. So not low C, not high C. Here's the start note again. Any ideas? Is it C? No? No, 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 it's G, okay? And to make it sound a little bit more funky, we're going to do F sharp to G, F sharp to G, which is part of that little blues scale and just makes it sound a bit more groovy. So just keep the G down, F sharp to G, F sharp to G, okay? So that little bit. You're going. Then we go da da de, da 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 So we're heading down. And all it is, hopefully you can figure this out, if I go down without the rhythm from the blue scale of that G, it's just the blue scale, but because there's a little bit of rhythm there, it sounds a little bit more cool and interesting. Got a little bit of a triplet, so we've got F sharp, F natural, E flat, C. From the beginning. So that's kind of part one done. And then we go da do da do da dum da dum. So we're going lower. So after the C. G. 
So if we build that onto step one. <laughs> And the last bit, da, so kind of blend note, da ba da ba da, da 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 da, all going up, da 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 da. Let's see if our blue scale works. Indeed, it does. Do da da da. So we've gone from the G with a little grace note, coming down the blue scale to C, moving down again, moving back up. So it's just, I'm not changing the order, it's just because the rhythm sounds really funky. So moving back up, head into that E flat, which is gonna sound really bluesy because of that minor third. Jumping down a little bit. It's the tonic, the C at the beginning. And for me, just to make it sound a little bit more cool, I've done a little fall if you're able to do that. I think there's a sax gas video on falls, check that out. So we just kind of run down with breathing out. Just makes it sound a little bit more cool and finished. So, as previous videos, I'm going to put this track on for you. Uh, this is for alto C7 in concert pitch it would be E flat 7 so C7 with our blues so if you've got any tracks at home you can work with absolutely fine the whole point of these exercises is hopefully that you are able to figure out what I'm doing while I'm guiding you and then if you want to use it in your own playing and build onto it that's fantastic um, it's kind of two-point training hopefully that your ear is opening up now that we're building to blue scale I'm feeling the uh, the range at the moment I've, I've tried to cap it still so we're not jumping around too much uh, but just so that you can have a little bit of fun and you know, if you want to then break it up and change it, so you could go. You can just use a fragment of it just to help you get on. Hope you enjoyed that. We're going to be um, doing alto only probably for the next couple of weeks, see how that gets on. As ever, please leave your comments. They're really helpful. I do film these weekly, so I take back what you want to uh, change and alter and try and improve it. So, um, Check out one, two, three, and four if you haven't done already. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Happy saxing. Bye. <laughs>